Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. I am missing my fish and my space hamster and a lot of my models. I do not appreciate this, so let's go and sort that out. Uh, let's explore the new Normandy. Uh, all the members of the Normandy who have died. That was in here. Uh, where Samara was housed. No Thane this time. And no Kasumi. Oh, but we do have a lounge this time. Nice. And a room to play cards. No Cerberus cook with us this time. down here doctor the alliance team cleaned up and restocked but it's still my old med bay feels like home welcome back thank you let's waste no time if i may i'd like to examine you nothing wrong with me is there no but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants cerberus grafted into you expensive stuff bringing me back and worth every penny let's just make sure everything is okay guess a checkup never hurts just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. <laughs> I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. The procedure we did for your scarring has produced a lovely synthetic protein overlay, and your body has accepted the implants quite nicely. It had better. Sure didn't come cheap. That's it. You're the picture of health. How's our inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. <laughs> Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. <laughs> so no, I don't regret it one bit. You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. We will. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. No Legion. We've got Eva this time. Alright. I look down in engineering. Oh, yeah, my robot dog. I have a robot dog now. Robot dogs are cool. All right, nothing in Grunt's room. Excuse me. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Venezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. 
Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. <laughs> Why would you make an Elcor cry? The Elcor are lovely. Right. I have to go down here because I'm pretty sure my space hamster is on the loose. Yeah, oh, there he is. Did I get him? Yeah, got my hamster. Right, and some of my models are around here. All right, cool. Hamster's back. Models are returning. No, uh... Oh, uh, what were they? Oh, uh, what were their names? Gabby. Oh God, I've forgotten his name. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me, Engineer Adams. What are you doing here? I was put in charge of the drive core retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR2? She's incredible. There's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, is that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Excellent. New Normandy stack up to the old SR1? <laughs> stack up. It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would bent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her. And in time, I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Good stuff. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Cool. Getting some of the old faces back on board. Alright, let's go check out the guys downstairs. And get the rest of my models back. Yeah, knew there was one around here. Hey, Pooch.
All right, what have we got here? Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. We've got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly <laughs> stocked and maintained. Good stuff. How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident, and practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So, you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah, and I got a knack for procurement too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> I was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plate. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. <laughs> Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> First retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. That seems fair. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. All right. What are you? Yeah, things I can buy. And you are. Uh... Also, things I can buy. Wait, 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 what was that? Yeah, I'll have that, thanks. And this is the Spectre stuff. Alright, cool. The rest of my models back, and then we'll talk to James. I might, I might have got them all now. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. Nope. There we go. Ah, the SR1. Anything hiding in here? Hey, Shepard. <clears throat> How'd it go with the council? <clears throat> Same as usual. Non-committal, unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Palapa. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <clears throat> you down here for a reason? <clears throat> Just came down to talk. 
Great. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> you already know my service record. <clears throat> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? I think I can handle it. <laughs> okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom and rank. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <laughs> nice. What do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. <laughs> Sorry. That's a tough call. <sighs> the best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. <sighs> you didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I do. You shrink too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn. <clears throat> maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are. We need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey, thanks for the dance, Loco. Loco, huh? I can think of worse things to call you. As long as you remember who's in charge, you can call me whatever you want. Oh, I won't forget. I like little moments like that. All right. Uh, does he have more to say? What's up? Oh yeah. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know. So I just give them a new one. So I'm a loco, huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty crazy, but the shit you've done <laughs> makes me look sane. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went Pooh Bar and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic? You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yep. He was the reason I joined the Marines. It was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. All right, we're good. I'll talk to you later. You bet. 
All right. That's the new squad. Hey there. All right. Let's go and do something useful now. Oh no, we still need to talk to Trainer and Joker. See how they're settling. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay. Yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? How'd you end up in the military anyway? My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. Al although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. <laughs> I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We've got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive, and counting on us. Quite true, Commander. All right. Carry on, Specialist. Right, let's go see Joker. It's been a while, and he's the only one we haven't really seen yet so far. Joker, how you doing? Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They're doing everything they can. Did they at least validate our parking? <coughs> well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. Commander. All right, that was short and sweet. All right. Follow me up. <laughs> 20 minutes just picking up models, chasing space hamsters and chatting. All right. What messages do I have? Shepard, Alliance forces are stretched thin across the galaxy. We need your specific talents for a series of ops. These missions will open doors for the Alliance in places we can't uh, touch through conventional means. We'll deploy operatives to hold point after you've completed your objectives. I need you to head to a Cerberus lab on the planet's sanctum. I'll brief you when you're inbound. Commander well, Shepard, this letter formally acknowledges your reinstatement into the Alliance Navy per Admiral Anderson's recent verbal communication. Under Emergency War Powers Regulations 903.5, you are hereby authorized to, assume authorized to assume command of the Normandy SR2. You are directed to begin uh, interdiction operations against any and all enemies posing a threat to Earth, its colonies, and its allies. Furthermore, you are granted diplomatic authority to establish treaties with non human races as required to support your mission. Yay! Alliance military personnel, this is a galaxy wide alert. All human territories, Fleet Admiral Hackett has declared threat conditions Sabre 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Sol System, Earth under Reaper attack. All Alliance military personnel are directed to evacuate Sol System at first available opportunity. Do not attempt Earth approach. Heavy enemy resistance reported. Repeat, do not attempt Earth approach. 
Further instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson t uh, Tacit. Earth-based alliance personnel unable to evacuate are directed to commence any and all necessary countermeasures. All remaining alliance personnel outside Seoul Theatre are directed to muster at pre-appointed uh, staging areas and commence offensive combat operations at first available opportunity. In absence of further instruction, independent action is authorised. Dear Commander Shepard, I was contacted. Uh, I was a contractor working on the Normandy's haptic interface when it was in dry dock. Your VI ED emailed me to let me know I left my dog mech on board. I'm all the way out in Terra Nova now, and would hate for you to go a million clicks out of your way to drop off my dog. Please just take care of her. She likes exploring, sniffing chemical trails, and 750 volt outlets. Thank you, and sorry for the trouble. I promise she won't be too much of a, he a headache. Andrea Brown. <laughs> All right. About the Quarian fleet. Citadel. Where is the Quarian fleet? The latest intelligence shows that the Reapers are taking system after system at a feverish pace. Members of all races are fleeing their stations, colonies, and in some areas, their home worlds. This kind of forced exodus might seem especially familiar to the nomadic Quarians who were pushed off their homeworld by the synthetic Geth centuries ago, but as the galaxy pushes back against the Reapers, the Quarians are conspicuously absent. Hmm. Turian and Alliance spokespeople cannot provide the fleet's current location. They say they have other concerns at the moment. Excuse me. Whatever the Quarians are up to, they want it kept secret from the Council. After a refueling stop at Ilium, the fleet left no stated destination, and they are also there are also reports of a galaxy-wide call for all young adult Quarians to abandon their pilgrimages to rejoin the fleet. Greedy and short-sighted powers will always try to gain the upper hand in times of galactic crisis. We can only hope that whatever the Quarians are planning does not interfere with the only thing that should matter: stopping the Reapers. Yeah, it is kind of short-sighted of them to do this now. While we were in Dry Dock, Joker suggested that a small welcoming gift would be appropriate uh, to have on hand, should you be reinstated as commanding officer. As the ship does not have the capacity to accommodate the dancers, he suggested, I chose something from the Official Systems Alliance catalogue. Soldiers who have held an N7 designation for five years or more are entitled to a co uh, commemorative hooded jacket for wear on off-duty hours. You will find it among the selection of casual clothing in your cabin. Ah, oh, thank you, Edie. Shame about the dancers. Uh, Glyph. Dear Commander Shepard, some of the data you found allow me to research an upgrade for you. Simply access the terminal in Dr. Tassoni's office at your convenience, and you may choose how and when to implement it. Have a pleasant day, Glyph. Oh yeah, Liara's here. We should probably go speak to her. Priority, Eden Prime. Commander, Cerberus has attacked Eden Prime and is now occupying the colony. Alliance forces are stretched too thin right now to attempt to liberate the colony, but we've been doing what we can to covertly aid the local resistance. In the process, we've learned that Cerberus has uncovered a major protein artifact. We don't know what it is, but it appears to be the reason for the attack on the colony. We need you to infiltrate the colony and recover the artifact. Cool. Right. Now that's well out of the way. Go see Liara quickly. Here we go. Getting warm. Commander Shepard. It's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. <laughs> it analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Thanks, Cliff. Right, have a fun. Well, huh? It was less than ideal. Yeah, I'm shocked. At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. 
But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. <laughs> Becoming the big info brokers turned you into a real cynic, Liara. I like it. <laughs> I'm flattered. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. Yeah. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Excellent. We have a moment to clean up these old notes. Preparing, uh, perhaps reviewing them will lead to something useful for a Prothean device. That is a lot. I won't be paying a lot of attention to these. Ah, Farron. I made contact with Tazic yesterday. Uh, the look on his face was priceless. He's not happy you put me in charge of scouting the terminal systems, but he's doing a good job of keeping us alive. I've never seen so many pirates and mercs on edge. The black market's unreliable and it's getting harder to make contact with suppliers. The Alliance won't be able to rely on, on it as a source uh, of crucible materials for long if things get worse. Some of the other operatives think we should cut our losses now, but I just keep asking them, when did the odds ever stop the broker? Baron. Yes, I hope you finally got our little friend Droney to stop saying shadow and broker out loud in the same sentence to anyone in sight. <laughs> Hello again, Shepard. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. Is that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. Okay, the lens flare, you need to calm it down. This isn't a JJ Star Wars movie. So is that drone your new secretary? Glyph is a VI shell that indexes my search functions on the data feeds. I couldn't work without it. Although I'm lucky Edie let Glyph on board after it tried to rewrite her scheduled tasks. I was merely attempting to standardize the ship's automated systems to our own, Dr. Tassoni. Yes, that's precisely why you're confined to the cabin. <laughs> What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been exciting. The old broker's ship. Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus' ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Farron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to your doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, 
But he had surveillance there all along. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. All right, there we go. Now we're done with all the chit chat. Enjoy your day. Thanks, Glyph. Right, let's go do some space stuff now, shall we? We all like that space stuff. Uh, clusters already conquered by Reapers can be accessed using the normally self-drive. Uh, self Search these clusters for survivors, salvage, and valuable intel. Right, so we've got Cestel here, which is where we are. Okay, I thought we were already there. Search and rescue. The Normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use it, uh, use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around the system. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. If a Reaper enters the system, you are you are it you are in. Flee and wait until you have completed a mission before returning. Yeah. I mean, you can cheat the system side so just by doing this, moving around. You can, uh, if you hear a sound like that, that beep, that means you found something. Right, where is the Shrike Abyssal? I want to head there first, I think. The Turian Primark. Right, so there we are. A first diplomat needs a Prothean Obelisk recovered from the Shrike Abyssal. Deliver it to him at the Embassy. Oh, maybe I don't have access to it just yet. Uh, priority, priority, Severus Lab. Uh, I think we have to actually we have to say uh, do the uh, Primark mission first before we can really do anything else. Cover protein artifact. Oh no, we can do that one. Hades Gamma. Anos Basin. Right, let's head here first. Alright, uh, systems with this red thing, uh, the Reapers can't come into these systems, so we're safe, relatively speaking. Alright, nothing in there. All right, don't think there's anything in here. All right. Kite's nest. Now, obviously there were reapers in this system, so we've got to be a, a tad careful. Here we go. Found some fuel. Got a scanner. And there's no scanning for resources in this one. It's literally just follow this arrow until we find the thing. And there we go. Lost and found. Ooh, weapon upgrade kit. Nice. Yeah, I 
yeah, okay, yeah, you have to do that first scan, initial, initial scan, and then you can uh, find the thing you need. So I'm, I'm relearning how this one works. Lost and found. Citadel, Pillars of Strength. Ah, that's for another one that we haven't got access to yet. So we've got that one out of the way already. Nice. All right, this this one's 100% done. Signal confirmed. All right, more fuel. 50% assets. Okay, so there's only these two. That's good. Excellent. Credits recovered. Nice. All right, that's the kite's nest. A hundred percent done. Get these gamma. Get these little ones out the way. I think. Yes! Back to max fuel. 50%, alright. Perfect. Here we go. Oh, right on it. Genius. Get more credits. Yeah, just more credits. Nice, I'll take it. All right, so yeah, the Strike Abyssal isn't open to us yet. Signal confirmed. Whoops. Oh, come on, move faster. Oh, it can, we can move it faster, that's good to know. What have we found? Special Ops Team Zeta. Nice. 103rd Marine Division. Evasion successful. Yeah, untouchable, damn right. Right, good, so there's fuel. I don't like the fuel thing in this. Good, I'm glad that one wasn't close to the edge because that one gets a bit... Uh, a bit tense. If you're, like, if you're like me and you're stupid, you try to get this done before the Reapers can get you. Right, more credits, perfect. Bye! Reapers eluded. Alright. I can't really cut this, this lot out in the same way that I did with Mass Effect 2 because the stuff you find here is actually somewhat important. Oh, of course you're there. Alliance Frigate Agincourt. Perfect. Right, that's 50%. Fuel, I desperately need that. 200 units. Uh, not great, but... It 
better than nothing. Oh shit, oh shit! Big space squid bastards. I found something. Right, here's one. Hey, more credits. I'm going to be rolling in credits when this is all over. Damn it, where's the last bit? Evasion successful. <sighs> Reapers eluded. Where's the last one? Where are you? Where are you? Hmm. <coughs> right, I'm going to come back to that one. Right. Kakas is 50. That's, that's the last one to finish 100%. You're done. I haven't done you yet. Go back to you because you have fuel. Alright, good. Stop back up. I don't. I can't remember if these ones have finite amount of fuel in them, unlike the last one. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, let's, let's do this one. Oh, let's make a start with this one anyway. In Prime. Ah, there is a thing here. Yo, oh, thank you. Perfect. <coughs> Nine out of ten. Prothean data files. Perfect. All right, let's land on Eden Prime. Well, they're the only two I can take, so can't really say much about it. Hmm. Right, by every definition, the other gun's worse, so we'll stick with that. Ooh, 12, right. Increases ammo capacity. Yeah, I'll go for that one. Increases health and armor damage bonus by 10%. Ignite enemies. Hmm, that one. All right. Right, you, you guys are all done. Good. Eden Prime. V 
This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where you went up against Saren and the Geth for the first time, no? Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. How bad? A lot of dead civilians. Lost one of my men, Jenkins, to a Geth drone. Reports said Saren had bombs set up to wipe out the whole colony. Not on my watch. Damn straight, loco. <laughs> Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. <laughs> we like Steve, he's good people. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. All right, and Prime's looking a little different. Come on, we need to find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony once. They came back after the Geth attack. They'll come back from this. I grew up on ships. Lose one, you can always move on to another. But you'd still remember. It's gather as much intel as I can oh it's even playing the same music I've just realized can't remember it did that in the original ME3 uh, processing update we've taken more able bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods the colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a Cerberus research camp on the other side of the planet and when we increased food rations as payment for the work most of the complaints died out maintain the story as long as possible we don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony and if these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again there's no way they'd cooperate Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Cool. There, that's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? You mean a collector? Those things the Reapers turned the Protheans into? No, an original unmodified Prothean who's still alive. You're right, that doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Uplifted, huh? Like when the Solarians helped the Krogan to evolve a little... faster. Yes. Judging by the dig sites like the Prothean Archive on Mars or here on Eden Prime, the Protheans wanted other species to learn. It's clear that they prize knowledge, growth, and cooperation with the rest of the galaxy. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. 
Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Oh, good. I hate those things. Let's get moving before more of them come back. Damn nemesis, whatever they were called. You're not as cool as a big tentacly boy, I know, but you're still a pain in the ass. Anything in here? Troop deployment update. Local resistance is heavy in the south and west sections of the colony. We've pulled most of our troops from the north neighbourhoods. To assist all remaining troops in the north north neighborhood continue standard patrol activities to maintain the illusion of a large presence in the area if the locals knew we were understaffed they could uh, do some serious damage more intel to help the colonists the more we find the better chance they'll have all right then let's find some more i'm not going down there yet Hey, where'd you come from? There, that <sighs> has found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Well, lucky they don't have to cipher. Whoops. Before we go in there, I'm going to check in here first. So I'm pretty sure doing the other one uh, triggers another combat. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. Son of a bitch, this was somebody's home. Anything in here?
No, okay, back the other way. Right, we'll get this bit done and then call it an episode because I don't want to go over an hour again. Really. Well, not too much over an hour. Sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Oh, look, collectors. I've got the signal. You understood that? You didn't? No, all I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would, and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod. Excellent. And with that done, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.